Tom Trimble with Encore getting an update on power outages on this Wednesday morning. Uh, had another round of storms overnight. I know that knocked some people uh, back out yet again. What's the yeah. latest right now from Encore? So right now in the Tyler area, we're sitting around uh, about 22,000 uh, customers out. Um, in the uh, in the Athens area, around 3,000 customers. And in Jacksonville, around 1,800 customers. Um, that uh, we, we made a lot of progress, a lot of progress yesterday. Um, you know, when the, when the storms came through Monday night, uh, we saw winds of, of 60 to 70 miles an hour. Um, and uh, with, with the just the number of storms that have come through over the last uh, month, 60 days, uh, it's just been uh, uh, a lot of rain, a lot of wind. And when the ground is that saturated, then uh, these trees aren't holding on with their roots like they like they normally do. So we we saw a lot of trees down with the storm on Monday night. Um, last night we had just a little bit of wind, but a ton of rain coming in, and, and you know these trees are just falling. Um, some of these areas that we fixed had back up with power. Uh, now they've got trees back over the lines, um, and and so a lot of these trees are falling from. Uh, way off of our our right away and so they're falling from you know 40 feet away but uh, when you have a, an 80 foot tall tree it's going to fall into the power lines and do a lot of damage so we've got uh, we've got a lot of people out there we, we've got as many people as many resources as we can possibly have uh, crews vegetation management crews um, we've got servicemen and troubleshooters and encore staff, uh, supervisors and um, uh, ad administrative assistants that have all come in from all over the state to help us out uh, to try to get the power back onto our customers as quickly and safely as we can. And tell us kind of the process here. Somebody loses power. What then happens next to the point of restoration? Okay, that's a that's a. That's a good question. Um, first thing is report that power outage. I, I, it doesn't matter if you're in a neighborhood and you think all your neighbors are reporting it. Don't assume that everybody is out. Um, and there's different ways that you can report that outage. You can download the MyEncore app and report it through the app. You can text out to 66267. You can call 888-313-4747. Or you can go online to Encore.com and report your outage that way. So the first thing you do is report the outage. So when that comes in, we see it, and then we assign it to a, a serviceman or a troubleshooter. Um, and what they do is they go out there to that at that location, and, and one of two things happens. Either they see damage to the line, damage to our facilities, uh, that it needs what's called a work order. So what that means is you need a crew to fix that damage. So if a broke pole wire down, um, you know, if lightning strikes and it burns up one of one of our fuses and and uh, the, the harness that's on it, uh, you need a crew to fix those things. Then you put in a work order. If there's trees in the line, that it'll have multiple things that have to happen. So when that ha if 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 you don't, if they get out there and it's just a blown fuse and they can fix it, that person will fix that immediately. And, and, and get that, they'll run the line out to make sure there's no damage. They'll re refuse it and hopefully the power stays back on. Um, then if it's a work order, it's get sent to a crew, then those crews will go out there and do whatever needs to be done to fix it. So, uh, so there's a step process. And uh, once the crew gets, gets done with all the work, they'll run back out that line, drive all the way down it to the end and then back to where, where they need to be and uh, make sure there's no further damage. Um, and that's what we're seeing a little bit right now is as we get all the work done and get the tr get trees off the line, get the line back up in the air, uh, as we're going back down the line, a tree that wasn't there has now fallen and it's on it on that line again. Uh, so they've got to clean that up before they can they can go on. So it's a it, it is a with this much rain and it it is a process and it's it's not a it's 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 just a long process. So, and you mentioned that a long process. I know when we spoke yesterday, in a situation like this, it's hard to give those estimated times for restoration. Uh, as it stands now, this this still a multi-day effort. 
this is still a multi-day effort. Uh, we're looking at uh, you know restoration to all the customers that can receive power uh, probably later this weekend. And in terms of those resources you were talking about, um, do you know some of the places they've come in from? I know our people have encountered uh, some folks from uh, Tennessee I heard yesterday. That was yes. in Commissioner's Court where I heard that. Georgia, do you know where these folks have come in from? I, I don't have the list of exactly where they came in from. I do know Tennessee, I think Kentucky, I've heard South Carolina, Georgia, uh, those, those types of places. Uh, we've got a lot of resources in from inside Texas. Uh, so from from up in the Sulphur Springs and Paris area, the Dallas Fort Worth area, we've got some folks over from Abilene that are helping us. Uh, Waco, uh, Temple, uh, Round Rock Temple and Colleen area, um, down in Lufkin, they've come up to help us. Uh, so we've got we've got folks from from all over the state. Plus, we've got people from other states in to help us. And, you know, in your time doing this, can you remember a time where we've had, you know, severe weather events, we've had ice events with with uh, arguably even more widespread damage. But can you remember a time where we've had these uh, back to back storms day after day um, to create outages like this? Can you recall anything like this? No, I can't. I can't. I, in, in the ice storms, you know, we had a great amount of damage with those ice storms. Uh, but that's pretty much comes in and it's done. Um, and, and we can get in and get those fixed uh, fairly rapidly. Uh, when you have a storm like this, it's for instance, this morning or early, early this morning, uh, you, you, you're making really, really good progress. You've done everything. And, and there's, there's a lot of people getting back on. And you have a storm like that. And it basically with that much electricity in the air and the, the wind, you have to shut down work uh, for the safety of the workers that are out there. Um, and, and so it, it just stalls efforts. And then you're, you're kind of watching there, sitting there watching the numbers and the numbers start going up because more trees are falling because of the, the, the amount of saturation in the soil and the roots just aren't holding these trees anymore. So I, I, to answer your question, um, no, I, it, since I've been working with Encore, I have I've never seen anything like this storm after storm after storm. All right, Tom, anything we're missing here that you want to mention or get out? So I do want to I do want to say thank you to all of our customers. Uh, they they have been uh, amazingly patient and grateful to to the workers that are out there. Uh, I, I haven't had one negative comment from anybody. Uh, the 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 people that they have run into and have talked to them uh, are all saying, thank you, what can we do for you? I wanna thank the city of Tyler. The city of Tyler has been an absolute wonderful partner, uh, as well as the county, uh, the county commissioners, the county constables have, have helped us with moving trees and allowed us to get down roads. Uh, the city of Tyler, we're using uh, portions of the Berkshire Center for a staging area to make sure we have enough material to, to get all these people, all, the, all of our customers power back on in this area. Uh, I can't thank uh, Ed and, and Don Warren enough for, for all the work they've done. Stephanie Franklin is in constant contact with me. Um, we're, we're just doing everything we can to, to, to help the, the people in Tyler and the people in Smith County, uh, as well as all over East Texas. And they have been a huge help. All of our cities, Lindale, White House, uh, Bullard, Chandler, uh, Trinidad over there, Athens, Canton, all of our cities uh, that, that we've been working with have been nothing but gracious and have helped us out a lot. So I can't thank our community partners enough. Um, our, their, their constituents should all be super proud of what they're doing uh, to help us out, to help us get, get power restored to everybody. So uh, another sheriff, the, the sheriff's department has, has done a really good job of making sure that our folks uh, are out there and have helped us control traffic in areas. So I, I just, it makes me real proud to be an East Texan uh, in the fact that the community has come together to help us do what we need to do. And uh, I can't thank everybody enough for what they do.